Alternative ending to Stephen King's The Mist. David Drayden, his son Billy, and a few other surviving people escape from the supermarket to avoid the danger from the creatures in the mist. They soon discover that the mist has covered the entire world, and the government is taking drastic measures to stop its spread. After many hardships and dangers, the group reaches their car and decides to hit the road in search of a safe place. However, as they drive through a town, they encounter a group of people who offer shelter in a church. There, they become trapped as the mist does not subside, and the appearing monsters threaten their lives. People begin to question their beliefs and faith, and the atmosphere in the church becomes increasingly tense. Eventually, David Drayden discovers that he and his son hold the key to escape. Billy is the only one who is not tainted by fear and faith, which allows him to pass through the mist and find help on the other side. When Billy returns with help, David and the remaining people decide to escape the church and hit the road. Soon, they reach the army, which is fighting against the mist and monsters. David and his companions join the fight, and their courage and determination help to stop the danger. Finally, when the mist dissipates, the surviving people receive help and treatment. David Drayden and his son return to their town, but nothing is the same anymore. All survivors, having experienced what they went through, try to find their way in a new reality that is devoid of some people and will always be marked by the nightmare they experienced. The End Alternative ending version of Stephen King's The Mist David Drayden, his son Billy, and a few other survivors escape from the supermarket to avoid the threat of the monsters in the mist. They soon discover that the mist has covered the entire world, and the government is taking drastic measures to stop its spread. After many hardships and dangers, the group reaches their car and decides to set out in search of a safe place. Along the way, they encounter other survivors who join them, and they form a community, working together to survive and find a way to defeat the monsters. As they travel, they discover that the monsters are not just mindless beasts but are controlled by a powerful being that feeds on fear and negative emotions. With this knowledge, they devise a plan to confront the creature and defeat it. In a final battle, the survivors face off against the creature and its minions. With their newfound unity and strength, they are able to overcome the creature and bring an end to the mist. The survivors emerge from the mist, grateful to be alive but forever changed by their experience. They return to their homes, families, and friends, but they can never forget what they went through and the bonds they formed with their fellow survivors. In the end, the survivors vow to never let fear and negativity control them again and to live their lives to the fullest, cherishing each moment and each other. The End Alternative ending version of Stephen King's The Mist David Drayden, his son Billy, and a few other survivors escape from the supermarket to avoid the threat of the monsters in the mist. They soon discover that the mist has covered the entire world, and they are now living in a post-apocalyptic world. As they struggle to survive, they come across a group of people who have banded together to create a new society. This group has managed to maintain a sense of normalcy, with a functioning government, commerce, and even entertainment. David and his companions are initially skeptical of this group, but they soon realize that they have a lot to offer. They join the community and work together to rebuild their world. As they work towards their future, they also come across a group of scientists who have been studying the mist. Through their research, they discover that the mist was not a natural phenomenon but was created by a government experiment gone wrong. With this information, David and his companions decide to confront the government and hold them accountable for their actions. They lead a rebellion against the corrupt government, and with the help of their newfound community and the scientists, they are successful. In the end, the survivors are able to create a new world, free from the mist and the horrors that it brought. They have rebuilt their society on a foundation of trust, cooperation, and justice, and they look towards a bright future. The End